Hello everyone and welcome back to another Attention to Detail, when we take a look at the small little design elements of a champion you might have missed otherwise. Today featuring Renata Glask, the Chem Baroness. Right off the bat we can see that designers managed to convey the character as somebody wealthy and upper class by giving her stylistic and debonair like clothing. With mainly a white and grey color palette mixed in with some elements of bronze and gold and some other metals. We can also immediately see that they've made an effort to show she's from Zon by integrating these steampunk elements we've come to expect from uh, Zonai champions, like the aforementioned heavy usage of bronze and uh, other metals into her design. Not to mention, of course, uh, her Zonai crest, which you can see uh, both on her robot and on um, her shoulders, which I really didn't see at first. Next up, let's talk about the silhouettes, because Riot usually thinks a lot about the silhouettes of their characters, so people know how to differentiate between them. That way they all basically have their own unique look and feel. For this reason, I assume they put her gun holster above her waist on the upper side of her bent arm, to differentiate from Jin, who has a similar pose but has his bent arm resting on the gun holster, underneath his waist. These are like small changes uh, Riot can make uh, to champions, so it ends up adding up so people know how to differentiate more easily between these characters. Otherwise, if everyone has the same pose, same weapon, same pose and same everything, it's it all just clusters up and nobody knows what's going on, essentially. Following up, we're taking a look at their arm, which they likely gave a more yellow color, so it stands out apart from the rest of her clothing. Fun fact, this is how her arm looks when opened up with Q. And here you have it while retracting. Now for the lower body, we're able to see that she wears boots that look like they're partially made out of metal. Again, giving this cool steampunk aesthetic. Going up a bit, we can again see those very stylistic clothes, which uh, in this case some people would call kind of... Uh, <coughs> And before we jump into our flying assistance bot, I want to mention uh, something I kind of left out at the beginning, which is the integration of the colors red, rose and purple. These are a way for the artist to kind of show her malicious nature by giving her red eyes which are often associated with evil, like they did kind of uh, with Silco and Arcane. These red eyes are uh, probably caused by Shimmer or, well, Purified Chemtech, which goes from green to red rose-ish. <laughs> Soli wanted me to say that, thank you Soli. Not forgetting to mention the usage of gems, which again create this idea that she's this wealthy person. And of course on top of that, it's to give a coherent color palette, so she can match with her flying assist bot thing. Which is essentially a glorified chemtech tank, she flies with her and can use as a weapon anytime. The bot itself has somewhat of an elegant look, which is honestly just a really good way to sum up this champion. As everything gives off this elegant steampunk vibe. It has three flasks on top of it, which can be fired uh, during combat. Next to that, it has these kind of wings, which can fold out with a white cloth, again making it match with the Gambaroness's jacket. Following that, we have um, this round circle, which we see repeated on Miss Glasks's mask, again making them feel like they're kind of meant to be together, in a way. Below that, we see a ring, which you can use to grab the machine when she needs to. And finally, we have a couple of pipes running shimmer into a pointy ending, which spews out fuel to float and can both be used as a syringe, or can be expanded to blow out massive amounts of shimmer, in the case of her ult. I'm calling it shimmer, I don't care. <laughs> so now for my personal opinion. I think Renata Glass has an interesting design, and even though she copies many design elements of other champions, they're all added together in a well-executed manner, creating a champion that feels unique and kind of refreshing. Her character itself at first made me think she was gonna be kind of a Camille 2.0, but anything past the first glance, just makes it makes me re makes you realize that she's anything but a shallow copy of Camille. She's essentially this evil stepmother, like a, a kind of like this uh, Cruella-esque character. Many of her voice lines are also satirical critiques of uh, rich people who got their wealth off the exploitation of others and use that wealth uh, to corrupt the political systems of their society, uh, which is uh, like really cool. But if I if I were to analyze all of her voice lines, this video would be like way too long. So instead, I'll just end the video here. Uh, like if you liked it. Dislike it if you think your opinion is meaningless. And check out the rest of our content if you have nothing better to do, I guess. And, uh, yeah, see you guys in the next one. Later.